Hello friends, today we are going to solve CBSE class 10th exercise 11.1 question number 6. Draw a triangle ABC with side BC is equal to 7 cm, angle B 45 degree, angle A 105 degree. Then construct a triangle whose sides are 4 by 3 times the corresponding sides of triangle. Means first we have to draw a triangle, I am drawing a rough figure. A triangle ABC with BC 7 cm, angle B 45 degree and angle A 105, angle C, sorry, angle A is 105, sorry. So, for this we cannot directly draw a triangle ABC. Why? Because when we are having two angles, then the third thing that we should have then we should have that side between that two angles. Means if this AB sh should be with us, then and only then we can draw this triangle. Otherwise, what we can do? We can do next thing that is we can find this third angle C. If we find that third angle C, then we will get these two angles and a side between that. Then we can construct triangle ABC. For so far. Constructing triangle ABC, first we are going to find this angle C. How we can find? We know that sum of all the angles is always 180 and sum of these two is 150. So 180 minus 150 angle C will be 30 degree. So first we have to find out that. Now we know angle B that is 45 angle C that is 30 and the side between them is 7 cm. So now we can construct triangle ABC. So now we are going to construct a side BC with 7 cm. Look here. This BC 7 cm. Now angle B 45 degree. So I am going to construct without protector you have to draw with rounder only. So for this first you need to construct 90 degree and then the bisector of 90 degree. So I think you should know how to construct 90 degree and the bisector of 90 degree. If you don't know please watch my other videos. I had made many videos on it. How to draw. 30 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree on that I had made a video so please watch that video look here first I had drawn 60 this is 120 and now the bisector of 60 and 120 this will be 90 degree I am going to join it little bit actually we don't need this for the sum but we need for finding 45 degree so this is 90 degree now the bisector of 90 degree so from here I am going to draw a arc, from here also I am going to draw a arc, now we have, now this ray will be 45 degree. Now this is 45 degree, now from here angle C 30 degree, so from here we are going to draw 30 degree. Again, I think you don't know if you don't know how to construct 30 degree please 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 watch my another video of different constructing different angle I am going to give you link in the description now we are arc and this will be 60 degree here we don't need 60 degree we need 30 degree so we are going to draw bisector of this 60 degree oh. From 60 and from 0. Now, both the rays are intersecting here, so this point will be your point A. Now, this is our triangle ABC with base 7 cm, this 45 degree, and this 30. Now, we have to construct a triangle which is 4 by 3 times of this triangle. So 4 by 3 improper fraction. So that triangle will be 4 part of 
this triangle this is three part and that will be four part so that triangle will be bigger than this so that triangle will be in the exterior of this triangle so first i am going to draw a ray making an acute angle with bc you can see bx now four by three so total four parts I have to divide this ray into four parts because a bigger triangle is of four parts. So one part B1, this will be B2, this will be B3, and this will be B4. Now our triangle, this triangle is of three parts. So I'm going to join it from B3. This is B1 b2 b3 and b4 our triangle is of three part and we want to construct a four part so first i am going to join this triangle with b3 now i have to draw parallel a line from b4 a line which is parallel to this so i am going to extend this also mm. Now parallel lines um, from B4. So directly we cannot construct. We need corresponding angles equal. So first I am going to draw uh, arc on this with the same measurement. I am going to draw arc from B4 also. now the measurement of the starting and the ending points look starting and the ending point the same measurement we have to cut another arc from this starting point to this ending point now you can draw a line from here and intersecting at this arc look here where it is intersecting here, your that point will be C dash. Now again, from here also we have to draw a line parallel to this AC. So for that also we need to draw corresponding angle. Look here, I am drawing it. Here also you have to draw with the same measurement. Arc. Now the distance from this starting point to ending point, you can see. Now, our arc here also starting point will be this and your ending point will be this. Now, draw a line. Where it is intersecting here, give that point name T, A dash. So now here A dash, B, C dash is the required triangle. That triangle is four times of this triangle, sorry. And that will be four part of this three part triangle. So this triangle is of three part and this triangle will be of four parts, four by three. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel so that I can bring more such videos. Thank you so much.